So thank you for everyone who has invested time into this. Really appreciate that. Thank you, everyone who's come and showed up every week. That's really exciting, really special. I uh, hope everyone got something out of this course. We're also going to recap just very briefly about last week. I know we talked a lot about just how to configure or to put together a battery. There weren't any visuals last week, so we'll touch on that today a little bit. Our intention was to, to do a battery build this Saturday that just passed. We were successful with that battery build. I shouldn't say we, I guess Crystal built the battery. I just watched and filmed. But Crystal had some helping hands, which were really cute. Two young ladies. So we'll share a picture of the components that we spoke about last week. And then we'll take maybe, I don't know, two minutes just to talk about the picture and just talk about what the components look like and then take a round of questions if anyone wants. And then we'll move forward with today's agenda right after that. Looking at the photograph, going from right to left, the right you'll have your input and the left you'll have your output. We have all the way to the right, we have our charge controller. So this takes AC power, brings it into the system. From this location, we have some wires. Those wires are now gonna take that AC power that's being converted to DC and charge up the, right in the middle of the picture, the, the lithium battery that we have. That's gonna be charged by those wires. From there, we have another set of wires that are gonna to go to the inverter that's to the left. And the inverter would be your output. That's what you're gonna plug in your devices to. These are the components that we've spoke about before, and this is just what they look like, just to take it out of the ethos and make it something that you guys can see. And all the way to the left is just a remote on and off switch. This comes with some inverters, it's not necessary. The way that this is going to go into a crate, we thought it would be convenient if we could turn it on and off without sticking our hand inside the crate. So that's what that's for. It's just a convenience thing. The tools that we needed were, we used some diagonal pliers. That's the lower right hand of the screen. And then we had a screwdriver as well. We used the multimeter just to check the voltage of the battery. So in the state of charge after we charged it up a little bit. And to the left of that is just the microphone that I think Crystal was using that microphone. So that's has nothing to do with the project. Yeah, we made it very clear that this is very simple, black on black, red on red, but it's very dangerous if you mess it up. It's <laughs> good. Do not ever have the red and the black cross. And we have two little kids doing this just to show that it is very simple, but we have to make sure. Do not cross, no, no matter what, especially as soon as the wires start to get connected to the battery and then connected to the inverter, we have to make sure they don't cross. And then they, people ask, what happens if it crosses? Well, you complete a circuit and you're going to be part of the circuit. That means that electrons will run through your body and you get a shock. But it's very simple. It looks foreign, but all you need to see is, as Yasir said, these components link them together red on red, black on black, and to think about how do you tap into the box of energy.